I don't want to rush things. It's so vulnerable, you know? I don't think it needs to be entirely rewritten. I just don't have that time to invest right now. There must be another way. So today is June 13th. It's just afternoon and I'm hungry. I actually woke up pretty early today. I woke up at 7.30. So I think I'm just gonna make myself a salad of sorts. That's an old piece of avocado right there. I do this thing where I keep buying green onions because I'm like, I'm gonna make things that I can put green onions into because I love green onions. And then I never do and they just go bad. So I'm just gonna throw some green onions in the salad as well today. I'm probably gonna do this one. So I start work not next Monday, but the Monday after. So I have all of this week and all of next week to kind of get things together. So I mentioned in my last vlog how I want to get a lot done in the next two weeks. So first things first, I'm gonna be trying really, really hard to finish this draft of Ben. I haven't written for a week, so I've lost a week of, of writing, but I am gonna try my absolute best to, if not finish this draft in the next two weeks, I'm gonna get pretty damn close. Another thing that I wanna do in the next two weeks is really focus on getting to a place with my diet and the way that I eat that is healthy and sustainable for me. In my last vlog, you definitely saw me eating a lot of things that I uh, I should not be eating. Like my body doesn't tolerate it all that well. So I've just I've just been feeling gross. I've been feeling sick and not, not okay in like, this area. So I'm really trying the next two weeks to kind of get in the habit of only only eating, for the most part, things that I can tolerate well. Trying to get into the habit of it as much as possible before I start work, because I know once I start work, it's gonna be harder. But I feel like if I kind of establish that habit uh, a little bit before going into work, it might be a little bit easier to like stay, stay on track and not eat the stuff that is not not good for me. The other main things that I wanna get done in these next two weeks is I really, really need to clean out my car. It's bad. I don't wanna start work with my car in this state because I will not clean, like I will not get cleaned until I'm done work again in November. And that's just, it's too much, it's too much. Another thing that I would really love to do in the next two weeks is do at least four live streams. I feel like that'll definitely help with the Ben writing, but also just to help me connect with you guys because I feel like I've been falling off with my vlogging and uploading. And and I have no real reason. Like I've kind of been busy a little bit, sure, but not that busy, you know? Like not busy enough where it's like I can't do editing and vlogging. Like it's just, I, I just keep putting it off and I shouldn't. I'm not going to anymore. That's why today's main goal, my first goal of the day is gonna be to finish editing the vlog that I'm currently working on. I've already got the rough cut done of it so it shouldn't take too long, but it's still gonna take a little while. So that's priority one. And yeah, that's kind of my plan for the next two weeks is to just get my life together, get things to a good place health-wise, Ben-wise, and YouTube-wise, and Secret Project-wise. I just want to feel good going into work. Okay, so I'm gonna finish making my salad and then I'll check in with you. Okay, so it's almost 8 p.m. It's 7.53. I am still working on the edit. I, I mean, I haven't been working on it consistently over the last couple hours, but I'm mostly done the edit. I'm going now and adding the little bits of text that I need to add, but it is, it is mostly done. I have just been watching straight forensic files for the last couple of hours and it's been, it's been lovely. I'm actually feeling a little bit, like I'm excited to work on Ben, but I'm also, I just got like a sudden wave of like, overwhelm like I'm feeling overwhelmed and not just about Ben and how I want to get a lot of work done on Ben um, in the next two weeks I think just thinking about everything that I want to do and not even just in the next two weeks but like the rest of the year and the rest of my life it's all suddenly really stressing me out and I'm feeling um, a little bit overwhelmed but I think I'm gonna be doing some journaling when I don't journal for a while I start feeling overwhelmed it's like I like everything's kind of stuck in my brain and anytime I journal and start kind of unpacking things and like letting things out it always makes me feel better so I'm gonna be doing some journaling tonight as well hi so it is currently about 11 p.m. I got home about a half hour ago from my parents house I I want to work on Ben, but I have this thing where I get very, um, it doesn't happen all the time, but it's definitely been happening a lot more um, lately. When I get tired and I'm just kind of sitting still, I just get so physically uncomfortable, like restless, and I need to keep moving my body just for like a little bit of like temporary relief from like the discomfort. So when that kind of starts, I need to go to sleep. Like I just need to go to sleep. Otherwise I'm just so incredibly uncomfortable physically. So I've been 
I'm, I have that right now. I, I'm getting the like restless legs, but it's also just like my whole body. I am tired. I mean, I woke up at 7.30 this morning, so it's about that time I should be getting to sleep. So I'm gonna do that. So I did finish editing the video, which is great. I feel so good about that. It's like a weight lifted off my shoulders. All I need to do tomorrow morning is just go over it one more time and then make the thumbnail and do all that stuff and then post it. In terms of Ben work, I really wanted to get a bunch of Ben writing done today, but I didn't and I'm not, I'm, I'm not in a state to get to any Ben work right now. I did, I have, I mean, technically, yes, I worked on Ben, I opened the document. I've added eight words. I've read over um, the scene that I'm gonna be working on. I have an idea of kind of what I'm gonna be adding and stuff. So, I mean, I did, I have technically worked on Ben the last like 15, 20 minutes or so, but I, I'm, I'm ready for bed now. I'm hoping tomorrow I make a lot of Ben progress. I'm feeling good, like definitely while I was reading over it, it's bad, but I also kind of knew it was easy for me to see where and why it was bad and and come up with what I need to make it better. So I feel good about going into my writing session tomorrow. Hi, so today is June 14th. I spent the morning, most of the day, not the morning, it was most of the day cleaning my apartment, just doing a nice full moon cleanse, you know? It's about 4 p.m. right now. I also did some reading out on my balcony. Just as an update, I'm currently reading One Final Vinyl by Savvy. I'm actually very close to the end. I'm trying to read one of my self-published books alongside a traditionally published book from my big TBR. So I've been trying to do that and I finished The Marionettes by Katie Wismer and started on this one and I'm liking it. I think it's really cute. I highly recommend if um, you haven't read it already. I'm enjoying this one a lot so. And then of course I'm still reading Stephen King, Finders Keepers. I'm about this far in 126 pages. I did a little bit of reading outside of my balcony and then I came inside and finished cleaning and I had lunch and all that stuff. And right now I'm about to do some secret project work, some like secret project adjacent work. Like it's kind of related to my secret project, but it's also not like directly related. Anyway, so I'm gonna be working on that for a little bit. I might hang out with a friend tonight. I don't really know. We haven't really finalized any plans, but either way, I'll also be getting to some Ben work at some point today. I'm currently watching Forensic Files. I want to watch the new season of Stranger Things. I really, really do. I really do. Let me know if you've seen it, but I'm so afraid of getting sucked in. Like I'm just getting sucked in because I know that I'm good. Like I want to watch from season one, episode one, I wanna watch all the way through before I watch the new season, season four. I just don't have that time to invest right now. So, and I don't have the the willpower to just do like one or two episodes a day. Like I, there's, I won't, I can't do that. So I'm gonna put it off at least for the next two weeks so that I can get as much work done as possible. So yeah, it's about four. I'm probably gonna work on this secret project adjacent stuff for the next two hours or so and see what's going on. I'll probably see my parents if I don't hang out with a friend of mine. And then once I'm kind of back for the evening, although I can't let it get too late because like last night I'm gonna get too sleepy. I start getting sleepy and like useless at like 10. So I need to, I need to do some bed work before that. Okay, so I've had an outfit change. My friend just called me and she's essentially on her way to pick me up. So looks like I'm going out with a friend tonight we're just gonna have some drinks and just catch up so I'm gonna be doing that but I'm still planning on when I get back home working on Ben in some capacity hello so it is I've been home for a little bit I've been probably home for like 45 minutes or so it's 11 35 I'm definitely tired and I'm feeling like I'm not gonna get to any writing however I have been reading through chapter 14 and I think I think I'm gonna copy and paste chapter 15. I think I'm just gonna get the chapter in here, although it's a very long chapter. Like chapter 15 is looking chunky. There's apparently six scenes in it. It's definitely a part of the story where a lot of things are happening or like it's kind of like a big, you know, there's, there's things happening. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get chapter 15 in there and then tomorrow I'm gonna do some work and power through chapter 14 as much as possible. The good thing with chapter 14 is that I have a lot to work with, which feels really good. I just need to add more kind of concrete details and take away some stuff. But I think for the most part, it's just kind of like those are the scenes. Like I, I'm, there's no like major changes. It'll just be kind of making things better, adding some more dialogue. Some of the dialogue isn't great. And then in chapter 15, for 
for sure. So bad, the dialogue. It is so, so bad. Like literally I have a note here. The end of scene one, chapter 15, it says, seriously, this whole chapter and the last one need to be entirely rewritten. I'm so sorry, future Diane. Apology not accepted. I mean, uh, chapter 14, I don't think it needs to be entirely rewritten. It's just, there's, it needs a lot of work and definitely chapter 15. Like I can just, I remember how painfully bad it was. But that being said, it's bad, but I do have, you know, a fair amount of words to work with. These next few chapters until the end of the book, just they need definitely a lot, a lot of work, a lot of developmental work, I think, because um, there's definitely big chunks of information missing that because of the prep work that I did for draft two, I have a better understanding of and a better idea of. So there's stuff that I know for some of the blanks that I've left, but definitely the second half of the book, there's a lot of work to be done because in the zero draft, as I was nearing the end, I was just kind of trying to get through. I I still wrote quite a bit, but it's very not good. I also need to go back to chapter 13 because I haven't technically crossed it off of my little Ben Draft 2 to-do list thing. I don't know why. I feel like I've gone through every scene, but I'm gonna also just kind of do a little sweep through chapter 13 and see if it's kind of good enough for a second draft and then move on. Tomorrow I'm also cleaning out my car. I'm cleaning out my car tomorrow, okay? Hello, so today's June 15th. It's about 2.45 p.m. I cleaned out my car. It's done. Ooh, it feels so good. So now my back seat is actually a back seat. I'm currently cooking some food. I'm just making some rice. I'm just gonna make a kind of tuna sushi bowl. So I'm gonna eat that because I'm starving. And then basically I'm spending the rest of the evening just working on Ben and secret project stuff. That's all, that's it, that's all. That's all I'm doing. Okay, so I'm back inside from writing on my balcony. It was getting a little bit cold. So I decided to come inside, but I left the AC on. So it was super cold in here. So I have my sweater on. We're gonna continue to do some Ben work, but but I'm happy to report that I finished chapter 13. I had started to work on it, but then didn't finish it. So that's all done. I have added, oh my God, I just keep adding words. I've added 610 words. So we'll see how many words it ends up being at the end of the night because I'm gonna be working on chapter 14 and I feel like I'm gonna be getting rid of words, maybe. But I'm gonna cross off chapter 13. Chapter 12, I'm still definitely not done and I'm not quite, not quite ready to tackle those last two scenes of chapter 12, so. That will just have to wait. So I think actually tonight I'm getting together with some of the girls on maybe Discord or something and we're gonna do some writing sprints. So that's good. I can't with my hair. My hair is looking a little funky. It looks a little cuter in person, I think. I think it looks cute in person, but on the camera it's not, it's not reading the same. It's okay. You're not here for my hairdo and how I look. That's fine. I feel like lately I really need to keep reminding myself, especially as I go through the second half of the book, I need to keep reminding myself that I'm not doing like line edits so I don't need to be changing things on like a sentence level. It, I'm fixing like glaring things that are really bad but mostly the function of this second draft is filling in the blanks and filling in the details that I'm missing and details that I have decided to change based on my read through and, and things that I need to add and things that I want to get rid of. That's what I'm doing. I'm not doing line level edits. So I, I shouldn't shouldn't be trying to change every single sentence. But yeah, I feel like that's definitely been slowing me down. That's the main reason. Uh, that's not the main reason. The main reason is just work and not actually making time to write. But a big reason why I've been the, my progress has been so slow up until, you know, most recently is because I've just been trying to make like every line better, you know, like I'm trying to make, make it better on, on a line level and it's not, it's not at that stage yet. I'm not at that point in my revisions, in my editing. I'm just not. I have to, I have to remember that. Once I'm done this draft and do my read through and go through again and do my third draft, the one that I'm actually going to be sending out to CPs. I'll look a little bit more at, you know, kind of the line level stuff, but even then I don't want to get too concerned about line level edits before I send it to CPs because I'm really like, they're going to be looking at the story and I'll, I'll I'm sure that I'm going to be changing 
a lot of things because I feel like I need to. I just don't exactly know or like I have an idea and I just want to see if other people agree. So I'm sure there's going to be still some fairly big structural and developmental changes even after my third draft. So I really don't, I don't need to get too line lovely. But I'm also really nervous about sending something out that I know sounds bad and is so bad on a line level like to people who I'm just like nervous about it because I'm like I swear this isn't my best work but I gotta I just gotta get over that because I'm sure I'm sure that my friends my CPs will understand that it's still very rough in terms of line edits and I'm really just looking for some guidance and some help with the developmental stuff and the and the story the structure of things so I feel like writing and sharing your work is like so embarrassing like why am I so embarrassed it's, it's so vulnerable you know like it's just even when I think something is kind of good as soon as I give it to someone to read it feels like it's bad like it feels like it's embarrassing it feels like it's not good like as soon as you give it to someone and there's you know and you're asking for advice or like validation I my like perception of what I've done my work changes and I'm like well it's it's garbage it's trash anyway oh, I'm getting chest pains my body is just like Girl, no. One thing I definitely want to make sure, like I refuse to have this line in my book at all. I just want to make sure I never have the line, I let out a breath I didn't know I was holding or didn't realize I had been holding or whatever. Any iteration of that, I refuse. I don't know why it bothers me so much. It's just such an instant eye roll. As soon, like it's like an, a painful eye roll. It's so loud. It's such a loud sentence. <laughs> so I just want to make sure I don't have that the reason I thought of that is just because I was reading I was reading a sentence that is too similar to that sentence it's I broke out of a trance I hadn't realized I was in is that too close I'm sure there's a better way there must be another way okay I'm really excited to start chapter 14 like actually going through chapter 14 it's already in there the zero draft it's copied and pasted and I've I've made like very minimal changes the other day when I copied and pasted it but I need a lot I need to do a lot of work there's a lot. I think the main thing you're gonna be tackling in this, in the second draft of this chapter is dialogue stuff. Yeah, because I think all the events are right. I think, you know, the like where things are taking place and like what happens is right and I don't see that changing. It's just the dialogue, it's so bad, it's so bad. I'm so excited to get this book done. Like I'm so excited. I feel so good when I actually work on Ben for like an extended period of time. Like I definitely want to get in the habit of working on it just like even if it's like 15 minutes or whatever, like when I can, I definitely want to get in the habit of that. But the feeling of like when I've been working on something, like especially writing for an extended period of time, like it feels so good and it takes me back to that feeling of when I used to write when I was a kid, when I would just get so focused. I feel like I have not been able to like focus on things my focus has been so bad and I remember as a kid being able to like hyper focus on something I miss that feeling I love that feeling where it's like I can't think of anything else except this thing that I'm doing I remember waking up needing to write like need like being so excited to be able to write like to like to get my notebook out and to just start writing or to get on my computer and start writing like that like hunger and like craving I love that and I miss that and I start to kind of feel a little bit of that once I've been focusing on writing and once I've spent a significant amount of time at once working on something like it just feels it just feels so good it's got like little remnants of that old nostalgic feeling that I used to get when I would write as a kid and even like early early teens I'm really excited for you guys whoever wants to read Ben I'm so excited for you to read Ben like I'm so excited even if only one of you actually likes the book that's enough that'll be enough for me I'll have done it for you anyway I'll check in later hello so today is June 20th it's Monday I have seven days including today left of my trying to finish my second draft in 40 days I'm still in chapter 14 I have not made any progress I mean I'm I think I'm on scene two of chapter 14 I have made a little bit of progress in this vlog but I'm still on chapter 14 so I'm definitely feeling a little bit like I'm not gonna finish this draft by June 26th 
but that's okay. I've definitely made a lot of progress in the last 40 days. I, I think I went from like chapter eight to chapter 14 in the last 40 days, which, you know, it took me like a year and a half to get to chapter eight. So we're making pretty quick progress now. And I feel like I can continue to make the same kind of progress um, going forward. So I'm feeling good. I don't think I'm gonna finish the last 10 chapters in the next seven days. Like it's just, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna rush things. I definitely wanna keep moving forward, but I don't wanna rush it. Like I just, I, these last 10 chapters especially, things happen, like things are happening and there's a lot of stuff missing from my zero draft that I need to add in. It's gonna take a little bit. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force myself to finish it by the 26th. So it's looking a little bit like I'm gonna be working on Ben in July during uh, July camp. But that being said, I feel like I might finish Ben. I mean, I don't know because I start work next week, but um, I feel like with the, the speed at which I've been progressing in the draft during the last 40 days, if I continue with that speed, I feel like I might be done Ben before the end of July, before the end of camp. So we'll see, we'll see how things go. But otherwise, I'm not sure the last time I vlogged, but I'm feeling pretty good other than not having really worked on Ben all that much in the last little while. Um, I'm feeling pretty good in general. I mean, definitely the main reason I haven't done any Ben writing in the last couple days is just because I've had a pretty busy couple days. So this past Friday was my cousin's birthday. We stayed in a hotel, we went out for dinner downtown. Like we did a whole little birthday celebration, which was a lot of fun. This is for my day one. Don't forget the ones I made, yeah. Deep sad, sweating out flavor. This is for my day one, day one. Showed up, day one before the glow up. Don't need to ask for them, show love. Don't need to ask for them, show love, show love. Izquierda, pa derecha, dale, ven. So it's a little bit later. It's 3.44 right now. I did my live stream. So many people showed up. It was lovely to uh, chat with people that I haven't talked to in a while. It felt good. And I did manage to, I mean, I didn't finish a scene, which I would have I would have loved to finish a scene. I only ended up being able to do two 25 minute sprints and then one 10 minute sprint. I'll have that link down below if you want to rewatch it. I managed to get most of the way through scene two of chapter 14. So I'm feeling pretty good. I know that I'll be able to finish the scene uh, by the end of today. I'd love to finish the chapter by the end of today. I would really love to finish the chapter. I mean, technically the next two scenes are fairly short. I do need to add a little bit, especially to the last scene. It's very, I mean, I think I need to add a bit, but also change some things. I'm not gonna stay stuck on it too long. I'm just gonna do what I need to do for this draft. So another great thing about the live stream is that they helped me pick my next indie published read. So this is what we're reading next. What are friends for? by Sarah Sutton. Sarah's adorable, super sweet. I think she's a good writer and I'm gonna continue to buy and read her books and support her. There's a siren. I finished one final vinyl today. I've got my reading in for today. I think I need to focus on Ben for the rest of the night and some editing and stuff. So I'll probably do that, but I'll get started on this tomorrow. So I think what I'm gonna do is end the vlog here and start the new vlog because this vlog is entirely too long, I'm sure. So in terms of Ben progress that I've made in this vlog, I don't even remember where I started in this vlog. I definitely, I was on chapter 14. I'm still on chapter 14. I didn't make much progress at all, but I did finish scene one of chapter 14, which I think was pretty long. No, it wasn't. It was 755 words. I, I guess it's kind of long. And I'm mostly done scene two of chapter 14. I am at 80,969 words. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know how your writing is going. Let me know what your plans are for July. Let me know all of the things, okay? So thank you so much for watching. And if you got to the end of this video, comment down below, stay gold, because you are gold. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.